Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Long Island. Welcome to Suffolk County. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Not only because the sun's out, but because of all the wonderful people who have gathered here today uh, for this incredibly important cause. And uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Governor Cuomo for once again uh, leading our state in a great direction and, and being here on Long Island for this incredibly particularly on Long Island here, incredibly important issue for us. I want to uh, acknowledge some of my colleagues, or some of our colleagues who are here uh, as we uh, move the uh, program forward. First and foremost, my uh, good friend, uh, uh, you know, we work together on so many different issues for Long Island. That's uh, Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano. I'm going to ask him to say a few words in just a moment. We're also joined by Dr. June Lee, breast surgeon, uh, breast surgeon at St. Catherine of Siena Hospital. Uh, thank you, doctor, for the great work that you do. <laughs> Linda Tawant Tantawi, director of the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Let's uh, hear it for her. Thank you so much. And to all of our great advocates out there for the work that you do each and every day fighting this terrible disease. Thank you so much for your great work. Of course, we are honored to be joined here today, and I'll be introducing her uh, in a few moments. Uh, just an incredibly courageous and inspiring woman, Sandra Lee. We thank her for being here today as well. And Mr. Long Island himself, um, this is somebody who um, not only through his incredible uh, legacy of, of music and, and art, uh, but through his philanthropy and giving back, uh, particularly to the people of Long Island, is, uh, is just a cherished individual here, and that's Billy Joel. Billy, thank you. And even though he's a Mets fan and I'm a Yankees fan, I still love him. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. So I want to uh, uh, ask to uh, come forward to say a few words because this is really about Long Island uh, today. This is this is about all of us, uh, but on Long Island in particular, the issue of breast cancer has been uh, something that has uh, troubled us and uh, caused a great level of concern for so many years here. Uh, higher level of, of breast cancer. And so this is something uh, that transcends all party lines and, and has all of us working together. And I want to ask uh, my good friend and colleague to join me up here, Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano, because we stand in solidarity together on this, so many issues, but this one in particular. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve, and thanks for the visa to come on into Suffolk County to join <laughs> with you all here on this uh, beautiful day. I tell you, I don't want to leave the beach after this press conference, that's for sure. But it's certainly an honor to join with you with our collective message here today, get screened, no excuses. And I want to acknowledge and thank Governor Cuomo and Sandra Lee for inspiring legislation that will make access to screening cheaper and increases access to that important screening, as well as the other ways that this great state of New York supports our efforts to find a cure. Let me give a special shout out to Billy Joel from Nassau County, by the way, Steve. <laughs> But Billy always adds uh, his name and his iconic image to help with many charitable endeavors. And here today, Billy, I just want to thank you on behalf of the residents of Nassau County and Long Island. I'm sure the governor will on the state of New York for your generosity. And uh, we appreciate it, Billy. Thank you very, very much. And to my friends, the Firewriters are here. I want to give them a big shout out. Great charitable organization. And the Sirens are here. All right, the Sirens. All right. Well, with that, I want to thank all the advocates, everybody that joined here today to, again, highlight our message. Get screened. No excuses. Let's thank, once again, Governor Cuomo for the landmark legislation, cheaper and more access to screening. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you, Ed. I also acknowledge Abate is uh, in the house today. They do a great job educating people about the importance of keeping motorcyclists safe out there on the roadway. Jim Barr, the president, thank you. So I, I think Ed said it well. You know, this is an issue that is incredibly important to all of us. 
Um, 15,000 women, nearly 15,000 women this year will be newly diagnosed with breast cancer. These are our, our mothers, our sisters, our daughters. And thanks to Governor Cuomo and his leadership, once again, we are taking a huge step forward in the battle against this, this deadly disease. And uh, as the county executive said, this new law today is going to help expand access uh, for women uh, who have had difficulty scheduling appointments and inability to navigate these complex medical systems and the other time constraints that are just obstacles to doing the most important thing that we know in battling this disease, and that is early detection. Early detection is the most effective weapon. And the state is also launching, of course, the new public awareness campaign, Get Screened, No Excuses, with this law that is being signed here today. So once again, I'm very proud to have Governor Cuomo back here on Long Island for an issue of the most importance to all of us on Long Island, the fight against breast cancer. And now it is my pleasure to introduce and bring to the podium, as I said, somebody who is an incredibly inspiring individual uh, and she has lived through this and come out stronger and healthier and is inspiring millions of people with her advocacy and her story. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a big round of applause, Sandra Lee. Thank you and thank you all for coming. You know, I have to tell you that living through breast cancer has been one of the hardest things that I've had to do in my life. However, it is not nearly as difficult. Um, when you're diagnosed early, that's the easy part. And I can tell you how hard it's been on me. An incredibly difficult year. But the women who don't get diagnosed early, those are the women who really suffer. And there's a reason why I had to go through what I had to go through by setting the example and allowing people an inside view, and my sweetheart, an inside view of what it takes to get through it. And those kinds of examples are what it takes to change the laws and to make it accessible for all women to get screened. No cost, easy access, that's what it's about. And I am so grateful that I have my partner, Andrew, as you know, the governor, who could make a difference and did make a difference. So I want to thank him and I want to thank all of you for coming out. And I want to share with the women listening and watching who will view this and read it in print. There is no excuse for you not to get tested. It does not cost anything. We have mobile units on the ground, 10 of them. The clinics are left open on weekends and on evenings. Without you here, who's gonna take care of your family? Who's gonna be your girlfriend's girlfriend? You need to get tested and screened. You need to stay here so you can enjoy these beautiful days on our beautiful beaches in our beautiful state. And with that, I would like for you to please help me welcome my sweetheart, Governor Andrew Cuomo. Thank you very much. Well, it is really a pleasure to be here. How beautiful is Sunken Meadow, huh? It really is special. To our county executives, Nassau, Suffolk, I'm not going to get into the Nassau, Suffolk debate. See, it, it is always ferocious. Uh, I love Long Island, all of it. Let's give Ed Mangano and Steve Below a big round of applause and thank them for their leadership. To my friend, uh, Billy Joel, who is such a great New Yorker, everybody knows it, everybody feels it, and that's part of uh, why he is who he is. He's authentic, he's genuine, he loves his music, uh, but he loves his state, and he loves his community even more. And whenever we need him to help us in any way, like today, he's there, Billy Joel. Billy also brings his own special fans with him wherever he goes. Uh, and Sandra Lee, uh, she 
you know, you think you know someone. We've been together many, many years. And uh, this year was uh, one of the hardest that I've ever gone through personally. Uh, going through Sandy's situation. We just lost my father. Uh, and you think you know a person. She has a strength and a resilience in her core that was unbelievable. Because to get through this breast cancer surgery, that's exactly what you need. It really questions one to their core. And uh, she taught me a lot personally. And I learned a lot about the issue. And if there's a silver lining to the situation that we went through, it's that uh, we're going to make the situation better for millions of New Yorkers. Like most cancers, but especially breast cancer, the best prevention is detection. You don't get detected unless you get screened. You need to get screened. And over the past year, we've been in hospitals talking to doctors, talking to patients. Uh, why haven't you gotten screened? And basically, we made a list of the reasons why people didn't get screened. And then we resolved those issues. First one was, I can't afford it. It's too much money. This state, we're going to sign a law in a little bit this morning that eliminates any payment by the patient for a screening test. No copay, no deductible, no cost whatsoever. Second reason, people said I can't find the time. Uh, I work nine to five, the hospital's closed, the clinic's closed. The law is going to say hospitals have to stay open another four hours every week after 5 o'clock and on weekends, so people will be able to find the, the, the screening accessible. The third was, it's too complicated, I can't figure it out. We have a full website and a personal navigator service, where you can call an actual person on the telephone who will walk you through how to do it, where to go, uh, how to get coverage if you don't have it. The fourth reason was, I'm afraid. They wouldn't say it that way, but I'm afraid. I don't want to know. I want to avoid it. And that's what today is all about. There's no excuse not to get screened. It's not going to cost you anything. The hospital will be open the hours that you're ready. There'll be someone to walk you through it. But the first step is up to you. And you have to take the first step you have to go for the screening, and there is no excuse not to. We've gotten a lot done in this state over the past few years. We're building things. We're passing great laws. This law is going to save lives. It will literally save lives. And I can't tell you how excited I am. Now we just have to get people out to take that first step to get screened. Uh, and that's what today is all about. And the only way we're going to do it is by getting on those motorcycles and riding all across the state. So let's ride. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much for coming today. Are you ready to ride? I didn't bring my motorcycle, so I'm going to use one of Billy's, uh, one of the extras there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you to all the advocates for coming out today. A big thank you to Governor Cuomo for his great leadership once again. Thank you to Sandra Lee. Thank you, Ed Mangano. And let's go out there. Have a safe ride today, and let's fight this terrible disease.